It's been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for Wonder if you found Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's A Summer Decorate With Me Part 1. I am very happy to show you guys how my dining room and coffee bar turned out for summer. And honestly, it has to be one of my favorite decorating that I have done ever since Christmas. And that is saying a lot because you guys know I absolutely loved how I decorated for Christmas. And that's patting myself a lot on the back, but honestly, ever since the Christmas decor came down I hadn't been 100% happy with the way I had decorated and styled my home up until now the coffee bar has to be probably my favorite but honestly I am so excited to share with you guys how every other area in my living space came out so my kitchen and my living room so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on those videos that are also coming up but like I said today we are decorating the dining room and coffee bar area and I am so ready to get started and show you guys how I decorated it so as always if you guys enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I know that there's a lot of you guys out there that watch my videos that have not subscribed. So please, if you can and do enjoy my content, definitely hit that subscribe button down below because it really does help out my channel. And a lot of you guys know that YouTube is my little side hustle. It is one of my you know, dreams and I really want to continue growing it. So if you're watching this and you enjoy it, hit that subscribe button but yeah let's go ahead and get started and let's get to decorating Okay friends, so I am starting off by decorating on top of my new mug rack. I have been so excited to decorate this area for summer. In fact, you guys already know that my summer decor is what inspired the new mug rack and I have been very excited to decorate it ever since Jonathan built it for me. And honestly, I wasn't planning on having this up until probably May, but having it done early just really inspired me and I just wanted to get it done. So I know it's not necessarily summer yet but I think this decor is going to stay up through summer or at least this theme so I just couldn't wait to get started and then over top I layered the cow prints that I got from Hobby Lobby last year they do have it again this year and I just love the black and white contrast that it adds and then moving on to this corner, I just added a wooden corbel and some candlesticks with some white tapered candles. And what I learned with this shelf is that layering a lot of pieces just really looks beautiful. And my favorite part is that this shelf is so much more bigger than the one I had before. So I can actually put a lot of decor up, which was the goal with this shelf. So I absolutely love how it came out and how it really allows me to be creative with the items I am placing on top of it so I just placed these terracotta canisters that are also from Hobby Lobby and then I wanted to put this cute little vase that is also from Hobby Lobby basically all of my decor is from Hobby Lobby house and home and that is basically everything but anyways inside of this little vase I am placing some real baby's breath this dries really nice and it basically dries looking the same so I figured it would last a few weeks if not like a month or so and then I can just replace it but I also paired it with some fake greenery and then I am going to be adding some uh, little flowers later on but for now this is how I kept it and then I went ahead and I placed it on that same corner I was just decorating Be 
Now for this other corner, I placed this terracotta picture I got from Hearth and Hands line last year during summer over at Target. And you guys know the story behind this is it was $25, which I thought was a lot of money and I just didn't want to spend that type of money. But finally, I decided to go ahead and purchase it. And honestly, I'm so happy that I did because it has worked for several seasons and it is just one of those staple pieces that I love and I believe I'm going to use throughout the years. So anyways, inside of it, I just placed some more baby's breath and then these cute little like flowers. They're actually chamomile flowers, so they just look so cute and dainty. And I did place a cup with water inside of the pitcher just so these will last me a while longer. I know the baby's breath will dry really nicely, but I don't think the flowers will. So I just wanted to give them a little bit of water so they'll last me a while longer but that is basically everything i'm doing in this picture and then you guys will see i am gonna layer a few more pieces of decor on this shelf <music> So I put down this candlestick holder that I got from Target. It's the threshold line and it was $15. I have two of these, so both sizes that they came in. And on top, I just placed some little white ceramic bowls with some greenery. And then over here towards the middle of the shelf, I'm placing this beautiful little crock. And inside of it, I'll be placing some wooden spoons from House and Home. Another one of those wooden candlestick holders with some more of the white ceramic ceramic bowls and some greenery and then a cute little plant inside of a galvanized planter to tie in that galvanized material inside of the arch and that is basically it for the top of this shelf. I saw someone coming towards me. That someone's gonna set me free. There she was. And then on top of my cute little lockers from Hobby Lobby, I am placing this cake stand. This is from the Hearth and Hand line and then the glass dome on top of it is from a cake stand I got from Walmart. And then in front of it, I am placing this cute little galvanized tray. I'm not exactly sure what to call it, but it is from the Spring line and inside of it, I'm just adding some greenery and a white ceramic bird. And that is everything. I love that I can add some more decor on top of these lockers and it is functional because it stores all of my coffee supplies and coffee mugs so when I'm making myself coffee in the morning I can just go to this little locker and have everything that I need. Now moving on to the pegs, I'm just placing some kitchen towels. Both of these are from House and Home. She always has the best kitchen towels. I absolutely love them so much and you can really reuse them for a lot of seasons just depending on your theme or what you like. Like this kitchen conversion one can actually be used throughout the year. So I love going to her shop and I will have it linked down below for you guys. But then I'm also adding these mugs. They are from the Heart 
soft and hand lined and they have a cute little dainty XO in the front. I use these for Valentine's Day but if I switch them to the other side they can work for any time during the year so I'm just switching them to that side and hanging these up on the peg rails and then I'm going to add a couple more decorative pieces so some cute little wooden measuring spoons, a galvanized bucket with some greenery inside of it and that is it. I have loved being able to decorate this shelf and I think it just looks so beautiful and if you don't know and you're new to my channel, my husband did build this shelf for me and I think he just did such an amazing job. Just to be with you somehow, unexpected love was found. You're the rose in a garden, and it shows if I'm honest. You're the leaves in mid August, and I've come out here to say. While I was digging in my decor, I found this cute coffee sign that is from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if they have it again this year, but I thought it was a perfect piece to add here. It just really fills up some of that empty blank space and it really goes along with my coffee theme, obviously. I know that I used this last year, but I had totally forgotten about it, so I'm happy I found it and was able to pull it out again. And then right in front of it, I'm just placing my glass canisters with my coffee grounds and my Nespresso pods and that is everything for this side of my dining room and I've come out here to say And for my dining room table, I didn't want anything too hard to take off. So I made a simple little centerpiece inside of this leather tray. Just added a plant, another cake stand, and some black candlesticks to tie in some of the black accents I have throughout. And then I added this table cloth. I'm not exactly sure what to call it because it's actually meant to go on your table like this. I got it from Target and it is basically a big square it's not meant to go throughout your entire table like a normal tablecloth would go but i absolutely loved it and it was 18 dollars. but that was it for my dining room it's been four weeks since you called and i've been waiting here for you all along i've been waiting here for you all along Did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for. Wonder if you found what you're looking for. I hope it's not too late. I want you back here with me. We never should have said it's better this way. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know. It's like we're living in two separate worlds Come on back to me Say that you won't go I can't cope without you And I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go It's been so cold Without you here, we barely said goodbye before you disappeared. It's been so cold without you here. I'm not gonna lie, don't know what I'd do without you. Maybe we could try, try to figure out a way to put our past aside. 
Alrighty, you guys. Well, that is everything I have for you guys today. I absolutely love how it turned out. I hope you guys do as well, and I hope this gave you a lot of decorating inspiration for summer. I'm honestly very happy with the theme I decided to go with. I know a lot of you were kind of doubting my terracotta theme because it does remind me a lot of fall but honestly the way everything turned out I'm just very happy with my summer look and excited to share with you guys how the living room and the kitchen turned out as well I also did uh, some different things in those areas so you definitely don't want to miss uh, those videos so hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on those videos but until next time I hope you guys have an amazing day and definitely let me know down below in the comments if you you liked the way my dining room and coffee bar turned out and yeah that is everything I will see you guys in my next one bye I'd rather be with you than